Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is talking about Town Hall 8, something I typically don't address on my channel. It's mainly Town Hall 9 through 11 war content, but today we're doing Town Hall 8 just for this one video because it's the most common question I get. Can you show a Town Hall 8 war base? What do you what tips do you have for Town Hall 8s in war? And in this video, it's gonna be short and concise, to the point, everything you need to know as a Town Hall 8 who's in a war. Let's get going with the replays though. Shout out to One Hive Trinity, the not really even a tryout clan, that's One Hive Alpha, just kind of a chill feeder clan, um, a place to farm your heroes for the moment. That's basically what it is. So I uh, had some great Town Hall 8 attacks to show. Basically, Town Hall 8 attacking, it's going to be the Hogs. Get your Hogs to level 4, get your heal spells to level 5. Of course, your King at level 10 helps, and then having some of those Wizards and support troops maxed out. But the main thing is the Hogs and the heals. Get those guys upgraded because that is what you're going to use. I'm not even going to talk about any other attack strategies because the Hogs are so meta right now that they are crushing it. So um, first thing, you have to lure out the CC as you saw with Dancing Dragon. Sometimes it's easier than other times, but one way or another, even if you have to invest seven hogs to do it, if they make it really difficult to lure, take out a few defenses on your way, maybe even trigger some possible giant bombs locations and get the CC lure. It just has to be done. You can't get around it. In this case, it was an easy CC lure. Gets that lured out, takes it out at the bottom with some wizards, some archers, some poison spells. Very classic CC kill. Notice how he saves a poison. I believe it's a he. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll go with the he. Um, notice how he saves a poison for the skellies because oftentimes one poison will do it for the kill on the CC. That other poison definitely helps for the skellies and even the king in some situations and then the hogs will clean up here last heal goes down but here are the main things for town hall 8 first you gotta lure out the cc like i said you gotta probably kill it in the corner is the best way to do it and then also uh in terms of how you use your king which is often a big question in these hog attacks some of them will have kill squads we'll take a look at one kill squad based attack most of them are mass hog attacks like this that don't have a kill squad. And then people ask, okay, where do I use my king? You can use him a few different places. Either use him to tank point defense to get uh, point defense off your hogs. You can try to wall breaker him in to trigger some giant bombs and get some defensive value um, almost in like a kill squad. And if you are bringing a kill squad, of course, just send your king in with the kill squad, whether it's golems or valks, maybe even some uh, CC witches or pekkas or whatever you have. Um, and you can also use him as a king trade. Take out the defensive king by dropping down your king if the defensive king is far enough to the outside because the defensive king can do some damage to hogs so you can get him cleared out of the way and also tank some point defense as well with your king's ability. This next one by Tornado Top Shelf. Another base that's pretty common, this... Um, very open core with the little uh, compact compartments around it. You can hit this a variety of ways. We're gonna take a look at a very similar base to this one next that was attacked a different way, but one way is just using these mass hogs and just coming in in groups. You don't wanna do a one or two finger drop typically because the hogs are strong enough they can stay spread out, especially if you have a lot of them, and you don't wanna drop them in like a huge wave. You wanna drop them in groups that way all your eggs are not in one basket, so to speak. Double Giant Bombs can kill hogs at Town Hall uh, 8, believe it or not. A Giant Bomb does 225 damage, so a double does, what is that, 450? Hogs only have 415 HP, so you gotta be wary of Double Giant Bombs. Don't send them all in one group. Send them in multiple groups, so even if seven or eight hogs die, an entire pack goes down to a Double Giant Bomb set, you still have other hogs that are gonna move through at different angles and not take the blunt of that blow. Now that being said, if you have access to level eight hogs in the CC, is that max or is it level seven? I think it's level seven, I might have misspoke. Whatever, yeah, level seven, I'm pretty sure. If you have access to those max hogs in the CC, if you're lucky enough to have that, even level six hogs, 
maybe even level five, but level six and seven especially, they will not go down to that double giant bomb set. So they should be your main hogs. They should go in the places that you think there's gonna be double giant bombs. Those are your go-to hogs, your best uh, warriors, so to speak. Send those in, in the most difficult places. Make sure you keep them healed up and they will be surviving double giant bomb sets, which is key because all your level four hogs that you bring on your own can't survive that. So use those max hogs wisely. I would almost always advise bringing a CC full of them just because they're three levels higher than your actual hogs are. So that's very important. Um, I think this might even be the same base here, at least very similar. And it was done with a kill squad based attack. Now this is another option you have, basically a golem or two, some Valks, your king. You can substitute the Valks for other stuff. Um, Spear actually brings some CC level five Valks, which are definitely an option. I still prefer max hogs, but the level five Valks can wreck. So can a level six P.E.K.K.A. Imagine that. Um, that'll do some scary amount of damage or some level three witches. Uh, it all depends on the base, but those are some very high level troops. Town Hall 11 we're talking. Um, you can even bring some bowlers, I guess, if you wanted to in your CC. There's some very powerful troops, not meant for Town Hall 8, but you can bring them in your CC with a kill squad and get some good value if you're concerned about like a huge giant bomb area in the core. The bomb tower as well acts like a giant bomb, so you gotta be wary of the bomb tower and like a bunch of giant bombs near it. So if you can get some good value in, uh, in the core or wherever the dangerous area is, go ahead and do that and go a little bit lighter on the hogs, and oftentimes you'll have a heal left over because you'll have taken out the danger area and your hogs basically won't need heals throughout the entire base. So nice attack to spear. Now um, I think that pretty much covered it. Um, I'd say pre-heal for the most part. Don't wait for the giant bombs to appear because as long as you're diligent with your heals, it's very difficult for hogs to be killed. The, re the way they get killed is mainly if people are, re are reacting instead of being proactive and not dropping the heals ahead of time. Spring traps, of course, can be an issue, but there's not enough of them to throw hogs off the base enough to ruin your attack if you're smart with your deployment. Defensively, this is to give you guys like a minute or so of some defensive wisdom at Town Hall 8, it's really hard. You know, you should try to defend one attack. The first attack is going to be the your best shot to defend. But a good attacker can three-star pretty much any Town Hall 8 base relatively easily. So keep that in mind. Don't worry about it too much. But important things, tough sea sealer, tough king kill, tough skelly trappler. Don't give them, a, especially a good sea sealer, make that very difficult. That's going to be your best way to defend um, a difficult sea sealer. Also have an area where it looks like they can lure but have a Tesla or two pop up. So the first attacker plans on doing like a one hog lure, then like two Teslas pop up and they're like, okay, wait, how do I get the CC lure now? That's a great way to ruin an attack because they won't be ready. And if they don't lure the CC, they can get wrecked by it because the CC with like a baby dragon and Valks or whatever can wreck some hogs. So a fake CC lure where Teslas pop is another great idea. Uh, put the spring traps possibly in a Tesla farm. That's a good way to really thin out some hogs. Uh, spring traps can't do it all, but they can certainly thin out the numbers of hogs for other opportunities. I'd say double giant bomb is pretty important. Put it in an area they're most likely not going to heal over. That way that you can catch them by surprise and keep it very central so a kill squad can't neutralize it as easy as an attacker might want. But I think that pretty much covers it. Very difficult to defend Town Hall 8, of course. Attacking is pretty easy, but those were the basics. Hope this video helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. And for those of you who aren't interested in Town Hall 8, who watched this anyway, a special shout out to you. Going to be back with some CWL coverage, some live action, stuff like that this weekend from the week three of CWL premiere. One Hive Genesis looking to go 3-0. All that coming out soon. Thank you guys for watching this one, and I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.